like normal people, but hey, oh, you know. All the seats out of your state car. No, actually, it's not my problem. Hello, Kay. Welcome to Shine Automotive. We are back on with Sam's Astrovan and we are doing some more work to it. If you know nothing about this channel, we are a car project channel and we have tons of stuff on the channel. So feel free to check it out. And we have build. Feel so free of so free so feel free so feel free so bloody hell so feel free to check out our playlist and our older videos you'll enjoy them hopefully anyway in the last one we put the estate seats in out the back which i don't think's ever been done before proper mammoth task but we managed to get that sorted and now kindly moving on thanks to car audio center all of this was supplied by car audio center which have supplied us a 10 inch floating doubled in sat nav apple play navigation all that kind of stuff it's, uh, it's going to look epic is that we've got a 12 inch sub there it's going to go into the, the proper 12 inch box surround that they've supplied us with that's going to be powered by this amplifier then we've got for the rear of the van we've got these speakers the front of the van we've got a component set we've also got some sound deadening it's going to go in the back because otherwise it's going to sound proper tinny DAB aerial all the fitting kits fascia panel for the radio we've got a full amplifier wiring kit there so it'll be going in so all of this is going to be going into the van i can't thank car audio center enough for sending us out this stuff below the video in the link you'll find a link to their website where they have absolutely everything to do with audio from speakers double din wiring kit absolutely anything that you need and the prices are proper reasonable and this stuff was sent out dispatched and it was like a day later it was with you so we're going to check out the quality of this stuff i have no doubt that it's going to be good quality i can't wait to get it all fitted into the van so let's crack on and uh, finish the, the rest of the van off now but yeah thanks a lot car audio center and uh, look forward to fitting that in the next one <laughs> Let's get this interior out because I think there might be something going in here. I'm not sure though. It's not your job. No. Kind of is though. Is it your job? It's your problem. Yeah, it's the interior. It's now my wiring's your job. But well, why, is, why are there any wiring? Could just look pretty if you wanted it to. Yeah. yeah. Let's get this out and then see what else we've got to put in here. van is very stripped out now looks like it's being robbed we did discover some high quality sound system previously being installed i actually think this was colin what did this looks like his workmanship it's all the seats out right so what we're going to do now we're going to try and do a bit of woodworking get these panels back in so let's see how that goes Sat in here. Yeah. What have you been doing? Have you been sat on that chair all that? <laughs> no. Yeah. Right, so what we've done, we've lined this up. This all be getting fixed in with some nice stainless screws. This is where the seat belt's gonna come out of, mounts in behind there. This is all gonna be covered in carpet. But what we need to work out next is get a couple of screws in loosely, and then we need to start figuring out where our speaker's gonna go, where we're gonna put our amp, where we're gonna put our fiber optic unit. So there's a lot to go in behind this wood, and we need to sound dead and behind as well. And um, we'll go through the products as we unbox them. Um, but for now, we'll get this thing screwed in so we know where we can uh, work out where things are gonna go. What do you reckon, Lewis? Yeah. yeah. Are you confident? Sure. Are you going to do it? Should we have a little look in my box and see what we've got? Yeah. 
Yeah, let's go for it. So once we've got all the equipment fitted in the van from Car Audio Center, we will do a full detailed description of the makes and the models and the parts with all the links where you can go and get your own stuff direct from Car Audio Center. Right, these are component sets, so that's for the front of the van, which we will get to. So what we'll be doing is putting these two speakers in the back of the van, but before that we'll be using some roadkill speaker kit. So we're going to install some of this on the panelling behind where the speakers are going to go, make it sound a little bit better, because obviously it's not designed to have speakers in there. Then we'll get round to wiring the sub and stuff. We'll work out these speakers first, where we need to be, and uh, we'll go from there. Component set that we've got here is actually going to be going in the rear um, of the vehicle. As you can see, the speakers are quite deep. So we're going to fit these, we're going to fit the tweeters in the rear, we're going to fit the crossovers in the rear. These are then, then going to go to the uh, 1200 watt amp 432 channel amplifier so we'll get this set set up mounted in the rear and then we'll see what what we need for the front on the feel of the quality of the things it actually feels really really good quality you know it's not just plastic this is proper like aluminium it is really well made also we've got in here we've got plenty of speaker wire to go up the tweeters have got their own wire plenty of length there to get to this guards uh, covers for the speakers comes with instructions as well if you don't know what you're doing <laughs> So yeah, so we follow the instructions, install these into the back, we'll put our sound in there first and work out these holes, but yeah, on a first impression the quality is really good, so let's see how that goes. Right, we've cut the hole for the rear component speakers, we've got the tweeter hole there, so what we're going to do now, we're just going to figure out some wiring, put this board in place, figure a few other things out, so we've got like, got to cut around all this to box in and stuff. We've got here some uh, vibration dampening, or sound deadening, whatever you like. This is going to go on the panel, just in there, where the back of the speaker is going to be. That's going to hopefully stop any vibration. So we do have one for each side, so that's going to go on, and we're going to work that earth laid out, then we can get the wooden panelling on, and then we can get some carpet on there and work out where we're going to be on this one. That's the sound deadening put on, right behind where the speaker is going to go. You could go all the way and do the whole panel if you really wanted to, but um, I think this will be adequate for what we're doing. So that's all glued on there now, that ain't going nowhere. So we'll sort out the air fade. Right, so we're going to start putting this, some of this wiring loom in now that we're being supplied by Car Audio Centre. As you can see, it's got everything that you need. It's like a complete kit. It's got the fuse, the wire, all your different terminals, even some cable ties, inline fuse. So what we're going to be doing first, just making sure we've got a good earth point. Put the earth wire in first. Right, so what we've got, ample amounts of speaker wire there right so we've got a remote wire here that's going to go from the head unit to the amplifier so when you turn your key on ignition radio comes on that's going to power up the amp so it's not on permanently you've got here 30 foot of speaker cable not going to need any more than that and we've got the power cable and the earth cable look at the size of that and your rca's in there 2500 watt this is rated to can't see that you're ever going to need anything else for a car or a van this is obviously going into your head unit and going into the amp so what we need to concentrate on first is making sure we're going to get a good earth to where the amp's going so i'm going to do that in the van now and get that earth wire fed in what we're going to do because the amp is going to be situated on the wooden board somewhere up here i'm going to run this earth down and i'm actually going to clean this up I'm going to bolt it to the body and it's got a nice clean earth. Then this end is going to come out of the wooden panelling and straight into the side of the amp to make it look nice and neat and tidy. So we'll get on with that now. Right, clean that back. That's got a Allen key bolt in there with a flange nut on the rear. That's holding the earth on. It's absolutely no problem with that. It's perfectly adequate. And straight to the body of the car. So we'll get the rest of the wires fed in, just in position, work out how much we need to come through and stuff like that. And we'll get them tidied up and nice and neat. Right, that's all them wires fed through. It's got the RCA, the power, the remote and the earth. There's plenty of room length on there to get where we need to be. So now I'm just going to clip all these together, tidy them up. I'm um, not too worried about that because that's all going to be tidied up, hidden, run down with the normal loom, and then go up into the dash. And you'll see that's uh, already in a million bits. So we'll tidy this bit up, then we'll work out our hole for the amp in the wood. We might be able to get some cladding on. Right, so the Inphase SPX 17C, this is a component set. What it does, it comes with these crossovers. So that's what we're going to put in now out of the way. Um, <clears throat> pretty straightforward to, to wire in. 
clear instructions on what to do. This is your feed in from your amp, and these two are going to feed out to your main speaker, and you've got your tweeter wires. One wire going to your TW, and then you've got one into one of these three. So let's get them put in. Right, I've mounted the crossover in this gap here. Uh, it's going to be nicely out of the way. So now I need to get some wires fed and running for where the speakers go and the tweeters. Obviously, the feed from the amp. So let's crack on with that. Right, so we've got the feed wire going up, running with the rest of the loom now. That's going from the amp to the crossover. Then I've got this wire here laid in. That's going to go to the big speaker that's around here. And then the tweeter, which will be around here somewhere, is going to have to go in after, and then that will get screwed into there. And then that will all get sealed up. And so let's get on with the next bit. Right, so we've got the in-phase IPA 8704D, which is a multi-channel amplifier, maximum 1200 watt, made in the UK. What I need to do is I just need to get it out to figure out where it's going to go. Right, so there we are, there's the amp, it's protective covering on. Got your inputs, line in, front and rear. Look at the adjustment on this amp. Two channel, four channel, the crossover, adjustment, everything on there. And on the other end, all your powers, Fs. You've got a ground, the remote, the B plus, which is 12 volt positive, and you've got your banks of speakers. Let's see where we're gonna mount this bad boy. Over in, all the wires in, fiber optic box in, reverse camera wire running along there. Just a bit of protection, that's where the um, fiber optic wire is going to come through. It's the power lead there, all these are going to be nice to wear. Let's work out this uh, wooden board now, get that put in. We've got the wooden sides in, the wires fed in. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna bond these side parts of wood on. Have some silver hook. Let me just put it in there. Have right? some silver hook artwork metal adhesive. So let's get them glued on now. One on that side, one on that side. See what that goes like. So in the next one, the van really starts taking some shape. If you want to know more of the history of the van, click here.